the word selection activity we've developed for Frog. This activity was uh, developed on a request from a teacher who uh, teaches English as a foreign language and he wanted students to be able to um, choose uh, to read the text online and then highlight certain words and to be able to see which words that they had chosen. So we can see the activity here. Uh, we have the configuration, so we can insert any text that we want. Um, then we have a few different modes that the students can use to highlight. Uh, so the default is that they just use um, a yellow highlighter. And you'll see that when I choose a single word, it highlights every instance of that uh, word in the text. Um, we can also, so if I choose another word here, you'll see there's just adding um, some instances here. Um, we can also choose to color each highlighted word differently. Um, so it just randomly assigns a different color to each word and you see it makes it much easier to see where um, certain words might uh, appear uh, frequently. Um, finally, uh, we can let the students choose which color to use. And so here we might, for example, uh, tell them that yellow is for um, nouns, uh, proper names, and then they should uh, find negative words and highlight them in, uh, in red, and maybe they should find positive words and highlight them in blue, and so on. This we can use as we want. Um, now, while the students are highlighting, uh, by the way, this could also be a collaborative activity. So if we add here another student, now we have Chen Li and Maurice, so they're in a group, and uh, of course, if uh, so now they're sharing the highlighting, so basically um, they both see what uh, each person is doing. Uh, so this could be one mode, and this could also be for the whole class. Right now, um, if we add two more people, they're now in group two, so you'll see that Chen Li and Maurice, they can, they can collaborate, and Edgar and Noel, um, they can also collaborate. But if we now switch this to a whole class setting, we'll see that um, everyone can collaborate. So those are the basic uh, highlighting modes and the way of collaborating. And then I'll just show you the dashboards that this teacher has uh, access to. So um, if we switch back to an individual mode, we'll see here um, a list of words that have been highlighted and uh, the number of times. So for example here, Chen Li has highlighted letter set. And if, um, if Maurice also highlights it, then we'll see right away it's been highlighted twice. And if I highlight it, if uh, Edgar highlights it, we see that it's been highlighted three times. And it's of course sorted by number of highlights. But we can also see the text um, with the highlights. Um, so here you'll see the same text as the students. Um, all the words that have been highlighted by any student is, um, is shown. But we can see through the color and also the pop-up when we move the mouse over that letter set has been highlighted three times and lorem only once. Um, we can also filter by color. Um, so let's say Maurice here highlights typesetting in red. Now you see typesetting has been highlighted because in current mode we haven't chosen a color. But if we choose to only see the yellow highlights, then typesetting goes away. If we choose to only see the red highlights, we only see typesetting in ever. Um, and this we can also do in the word rankings. So here we also only see the red words. Um, here we only see the yellow words. And here we see the highlights across all colors. So that's the basic functionality of this activity. Um, we can also take the output, um, that is the words that have been highlighted, and we can reuse them in other activities. Um, so I've created a little graph here. It's a bit uh, convoluted just to show you how many different activities can reuse this output because um, this activity, the word selection, and I've uh, just copied and pasted uh, an article here. Um, and of course we can preview how that will look. So this um, is the text about Pentagon. Uh, we've allowed the students to choose their own colors. Now, um, I'll let the students do that as an individual activity because it's on the individual line. Then I'm going to aggregate all the words that they choose and I'm going to pass them to all these four different types of activities. Um, just as an example, 
of how we could possibly use these. Now in this case I'm sending all the individual words to these four activities that are all on the class level, so they're all collaborative activities. But of course we could also have group activities where students work on, on, um, on uh, words in groups. Um, we could even have something advanced like um, asking students who did not highlight a word, uh, thus meaning that he presumably knows what it means, um, what that word means, uh, and, and so on. Anyway, we're going to um, run this session. And uh, to help us with that, we have two students. We have Pear and Ulla. They are now logged in, but uh, the activity has not started. So we'll have the teacher start the word selection activity. And here you see um, Ulla can highlight and uh, Pear can highlight. So we'll just do a few little highlights here. So I want to do something in green. There we go. Um, of course, the teacher has the dashboard as, as um, we saw before, um, both the ranking and the text, and we can filter by color and so on. But now we're going to go to the next um, next stage, and we'll see these. We'll have the words that were selected by the students sent into these four activities. And uh, what we see here, um, so these are, it's a bit complicated, but basically this is a pair and this is Ula. And we have these four different activity types. We have uh, uh, voting. So here you see the words that were chosen with the colors. And we can collaboratively say that biggest is uh, maybe a very difficult word. And you'll see that this is synchronized across. Um, we have this kind of uh, visual board. Uh, and I've preloaded it with some... Uh, uh, some quadrants and some titles. This could be anything depending on what you're using it for. So maybe we think that Pentagon is a is a technical word, so we can drag it there. Um, emotional word, uh, well, biggest is a descriptive word. And here we see the Pentagon because two people highlight Pentagon in different colors. We've got two versions of that. Company maybe is a pronoun, I don't know. But again, you'll see that this is synchronized across the two students. Um, here we fed it, fed it into the chat, so we see which student highlighted which word, and uh, they're just um, they can continue chatting about these items. Um, and then we have this gallery um, where we actually have the different colors as categories, and we can go in and, and look at them. So again, this we have to think a little bit about whether this is useful pedagogically, but the idea was really to show how flexible um, the information is when, when you build an activity into Frog in this way. Um, so that's it. I hope that uh, someone will find this activity useful and we'll keep developing it.